All right, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So as you guys might have heard, the Purunga Dragon Ball campaign is finally making its way back to the JP side of the game. This is the first one we've seen since last year's Tanabata campaign. So it's been exactly a year. And this time around, there are actually two sets of balls to collect, which means Dragon Balls that is, which means two Purungas to summon, two sets of wishes to make, and two sets of rewards to collect. And in today's video, I'll be telling you guys exactly how you can get your hands on each of these balls over the next 14 days. But before we get into that, I do want to give a big shout out to Markanen3 on Twitter for posting these translations and these missions, I believe before anybody else I've seen. So thank you for that. And number two, I want to give a quick explanation to the newer players out there who haven't done one of these campaigns before exactly how this works. And it's actually pretty simple. So starting tomorrow on June 30th, we can start collecting these Dragon Balls and one ball will become available every single day for the entire campaign. So like I said, the first ball is going to be available tomorrow on June 30th. And then the second ball will be available on June 1st or sorry, July 1st, third ball, July 2nd, fourth ball, July 3rd, 5th ball, July 4th, and so on and so forth, until July 6th, where the 7th and final Dragon Ball of the first set will become available. Then we can summon Purunga for the first time, make our wishes, and uh, move on to the second set, which starts on July 7th and ends on July 13th. So once we collect these seven, summon Purunga for the second time, make our wishes, and that'll be it for this year's Tanabata Purunga campaign, okay? Now, if you guys miss any of the Dragon Balls in between, so let's say you get busy and you forget, you know, to collect this one or this one, you can go back and still collect them by completing the mission. But if you're, you know, on one of these days, like let's say it's July 2nd, you can't collect, you know, the ball that's coming on this day or this day because obviously they're not available yet. So definitely keep that in mind as we go through this and uh, hopefully that made a lot of sense to people. If not, then feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best or maybe somebody else will help you with your question. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump right into it. And we're gonna start with the first set first because it makes sense. And the first Dragon Ball will be available tomorrow, June 30th. And to get this ball, you have to use the Wish Strip, Wish Strip 3 specifically on the exchange shop or Baba shop. So. If you guys don't know what the wish strip is, it's essentially that new item with like a little ticket on it that can be used to trade for a pool of 70 or one of a pool of 77 units in the Baba shop. So if you just spend one of those tickets to trade for a unit, then you will get the Dragon Ball pop up on your screen and you can collect that first Dragon Ball. Okay, so that's the first one. The second Dragon Ball of set one will be available on July 1st. And to get this one, you have to clear all six stages of the punching bag event. Now, I believe if you already cleared the stages, then you should be good to go. You should get that Dragon Ball immediately as soon as it's, it's available. But if you guys haven't, then just go clear the stages. I don't really think there's a requirement for like how much damage you have to do or how many of the missions you have to clear. I think as long as you beat the stages one time each, you will get that second Dragon Ball on your screen. And for the third one, super simple, just consume 77 stamina and you'll be good to go. Just do whatever event, whatever stage you want to do, consume 77 stamina and you'll be done with that. So that's the third ball on July 2nd. Moving on to July 3rd for the fourth Dragon Ball of the first set. You have to collect at least seven Fizz Key Spheres and clear the stage. Now for, you know, like Dokkan events and like longer events, this should just really happen naturally, but if you want to guarantee that you'll clear that mission to get the Dragon Ball, then just bring some maybe orb changers like Weiris or Fizz Super Saiyan Blue Goku or anybody else that changes key spheres to Fizz key spheres and you can guarantee that you can get that Dragon Ball once you clear the stage. So that's the fourth one. And for the fifth one on July 4th, you have to perform training once. That's it. Once again, super simple, just train a character and you'll get your Dragon Ball on July 4th. And now for the sixth Dragon Ball on July 5th, you have to collect at least seven STR key spheres 
and clear the stage. So same concept as the Fizz one here. Just uh, bring some STR orb changers or bring an STR orb changing item and it should be pretty easy to get that Dragon Ball. And now for the seventh and final Dragon Ball for the first set of wishes on uh, July 6th, you have to perform a Z Awakening once. So just perform one step of any unit's Extreme Z Awakening and you can get that final Dragon Ball and summon Purungo for the first time during the campaign. Make your wishes and now we can move on to the second set. Now real quick, I'm going to take my head away so you can actually see everything because I know my head's blocking the bottom view. So if you guys wanted to like take a screenshot of uh, Markkinen's post here just to save somewhere, then go ahead and do it right now. And now we can move on to set number two, which like I said, starts on July 7th. And to get this first Dragon Ball here, you have to tap on the banner on the home screen. So what this means is, you guys know how like at the bottom of your like home screen with your wallpaper or your character rotation wheel, um, there's like these like little banners that scroll across, right? So what you wanna do is flip through those and find one that looks different. I think it should either have like a Dragon Ball on it or some stars or whatever, but it's very obvious that this one is different from the other ones. Click on that one and uh, the Dragon Ball, the first Dragon Ball for the second set will pop up. And then for the second Dragon Ball on July 8th, you have to collect at least seven tech key spheres and clear a stage. So same thing as the previous ones, bring orb changers or orb changing items for tech and you'll be good to go. And then for the third Dragon Ball on July 9th, you have to perform a friend summon. All right, I don't know if it's like a multi or a sing Oh wait, can you perform singles on the friend banner? I don't remember, but just do a multi, like who cares, right? So do a multi on the friend summon banner and uh, you'll get that third Dragon Ball for the, for the second set. For the fourth ball available on July 10th, you have to collect at least seven AGL key spheres and clear a stage, same concept, AGL orb changing units or AGL orb changing item and clear the stage. And then for July 11th, the fifth Dragon Ball of the second set, you have to get Baba points. So I'm pretty sure what it means is you have to go to the Baba shop and Baba a unit and get some Baba points that way. Obviously you don't wanna be Babaing anything you need. So either Baba like random, you know, SRs, or you can just Baba like a free to play unit, get some Baba points and the fifth Dragon Ball will be yours. And then uh, for the sixth Dragon Ball of the second set on July 12th, you have to collect at least seven int key spheres and clear a stage, same thing as before, bring the orb changer or the orb changing item. And then for the seventh and final Dragon Ball of set two, and basically the last Dragon Ball of the campaign, um, you have to clear a stage with a team that includes all five types. All right, so that means one unit that's tech, one unit that's AGL, one fizz, one STR, and one int. So once you have all five of those on your team, clear a stage I don't think it really matters which one and you'll get your fifth and final Dragon Ball and I did take my face away again so you guys can take a screenshot if you'd like of uh, marketing's post right here to save for you know future use or future purposes or you can just bookmark this um, video if you want to see my face again it's up to you but there you go and those are all the clues now real quick before we go I do want to uh, show you guys what the what do you call it? The wishes will most likely look like. Oh, by the way, this is the animation for when you summon Purunga. And obviously when it comes to JP, it's gonna be in Japanese, but you know, there's like the lightning and the, well, there's the balls and then the lightning and then Purunga appears, right? So pretty dope. There we go. And as far as wishes go, they actually haven't updated the new wishes. So I'm not 100% sure what they look like because there's a chance they might be different from last year. But if we look at the ones from last year, I think it's gonna be very similar. They might be a little bit better, but it's gonna be similar. So last year, there were seven different wishes. The first one gave two wish trips. The second one gave three Grand Kai's of each type. The third one gave hidden potential um, orbs and a good amount. And then the fourth one gave some uh, Hercule statues. I believe it's a total of 40 million Zenny or something like that. 
not worth it basically. I mean, it's not enough to make it worth a wish in my opinion. And then the next one gives a bunch of training items, awakening medals, as well as training locations. The second last one gives 777 incredible gems, which is actually extra key right now because there are at least two units that you need to be that need to be rainbowed for the prime battle LR Goku Extreme Z Awakening event or Extreme Z area event once that becomes available. So if you guys are low on these and you haven't finished the I think AGL cooler as well as Tech 13, I believe. Those two are the barber shop ones, I believe. Either way, if you haven't gotten those ones done that you need to get done for the event when that comes out, then this might be actually a good wish to make. And then the last one here is for support items, all right? So my usual recommendation is orbs, kais, and if you want the wish strips, if you're missing like dupes of some of those units, then it might be worth it. But otherwise, uh, it's really up to you. Like I said, these incredible gems could be extra useful for you know, the upcoming Extreme Z area for the tech Goku. But uh, yeah, it's your wishes and you can make two sets. So you can maybe change it up for each set. Totally your call. But that's pretty much it guys. That is gonna do it for today's video. Uh, that's how you get all the balls. Big shout out to Marketing 3 Big shout out to the Dokkan Wiki for all the good work that all of them do. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video guys. Good luck in collecting your Dragon Balls. Have fun with the Tanabata campaign. Good luck in your summons for Kaoken Goku and Evolution Vegeta. And as always, if you guys like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.